Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 31. Let's go ahead and spend these uh, three skill points that we have before we get started here. I'm going to go into Fortitude level 5, Machine Gunner level 3, and let's just go into Agility. Why not? All right, we're going to do a little bit of building this morning, just continuing to bring this platform out. So let's add these blocks. We'll upgrade them. Then we got to add some bars in. And excuse my voice if it sounds a bit different. My allergies have just been fucking destroying me the last couple of days. But I do feel a bit better today, so hopefully it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and put our support columns in. We can put two in right here because we don't have any blade traps in our way like we did over here. And speaking of blade traps, we might as well repair these. Alright, now let's put the support in on this side. We can only do one column, though, because of this blade trap here. And I know it doesn't look symmetrical anymore, and it fucking sucks, but it is what it is. Let's, uh, bring this out even further. All right, looking good. Let's put the bars in on the side here. All of these wooden bars are going to have to be upgraded to iron. We'll do that later. We need to bring out this roof further. This way, if you're standing here on this extension, you're protected by birds still. The roof and this platform are going to extend across the entire prison. I know I've said that before, but that's my plan for this base moving forward. I've got a decent amount of concrete and a little bit of steel left. So let's do some repair work and then we'll get out of here. All right, as sugar butt inspector, we need to stop by the girls club and make sure they're not peddling that shit out of their vending machine. You never know with these people. They'll do anything for a buck. All right, good. But I'm watching you. I love that it's the booby trap, but I just call it the girls' club. Girls' club actually sounds like a male strip club, doesn't it? Anyway, we're going to church this morning, everyone. We gotta repent our sins. Hopefully, I don't walk in here and just burst into flames. It could happen. It's happened before. No, it hasn't. I haven't been to church in a while, though, so... It could happen. I don't think there's any loot in this first room. I always check, and there never is. Nope. Gotta watch out here, though. Floor gives out. And that wakes up a bunch of zombies. Uh, let's see if we can fix this real quick before they come running up. Oh, I see a green guy down there. Let's do this quickly. Oh, shit. Four frames is not enough. We gotta make two more. All right. Bam! Yeah, you weren't fast enough, you evil bastards. Now fucking die. Man, every time I come in this place... It makes me want to do a Pastor Glock series, where we just live at the church and try and fix it up. It's like we're the last pastor left after the apocalypse, and we're just trying to protect the house of God against these spawns of Satan. Maybe that's something we'll explore in Alpha 20. Pretty sure we woke up all the zombies down here, so we should be good. Any uh, schematic or book that we already read, I'm just going to read again for the XP. Not going to hold on to it. And I don't think I'm going to take glass jars either. Let's put that back. We don't need that shit. I'm going to be real selective in terms of loot now. We've got so much stuff back at home. Flaming arrows. Not bad. Not enough, though, to get me to start using a bow during the horde. Exploding arrows... That would do it, though. Blades. Blade weapons do 10% more damage at night. Another challenge. The Man-Eater. Go ahead and read it. Kill some male zombies. Let's take that off of the HUD, though. Man, we got a bunch of challenges on that list. We can spend a whole episode doing that. Maybe we will. We got a couple more days until the next horde. We'll see. 
I was thinking tomorrow we'd go back to the desert. Uh, we got Rick down there. We haven't seen him in a bit. And I definitely have some stuff to sell. And I'm sure we'll have more stuff to sell after today. I'm going to try and be sneaky here. Kill the light and everything. Fuck are these zombies at? In here? There we go. Uh, I can't be sneaky. It's just not in my nature. All right, where are the rest of you fucks at? Oh, damn it. Crotch shot. Do we go this way? Or can I go around and get over there? I'll scrap the pipe, take the coin. Let's see what we got in here. Good on the glass jars. Take those lock picks. Fuck that corn seed, though. The same former Glock, bitch. Let's check these uh, coffins out. Nothing. One dollar. Let's go buy a lottery ticket with it. I'm feeling lucky. Some ammo. I'll drink some water. Here, have this dollar. I don't want that thing. And this glass jar. Nice, some more ammo. Let's turn this glue into uh, duct tape. I guess we were supposed to go this way. Nothing. 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 Did we read the book that gives you stuff from breaking coffins apart? I guess not. I probably would have remembered if we did. Shotgun shells. All right, I guess we're going upstairs. Let's get the gun out. It'd be a lot of work to restore this place. But it would be interesting to do the series with but basically removing hordes. Right? Until, like, we get the church restored. Or give ourselves a certain amount of time, like 40 days or something, right? Do the horde every 40 days. Or we'll just bring on a horde on the 40th day, right? Because that's like a Bible thing too, isn't it? 40 days and 40 nights, something happened. Something about a flood or some shit. But anyway, it, it could make for an interesting series. We'd still have to go out and loot because we need to gather weapons and ammo. But the majority of the series would be gathering the supplies and resources we need to fix up the church. And then, like, on the 40th day, a big-ass horde would come, and we would have to protect it. I don't know. I will definitely put more thought into it, though. Because uh, I think we're onto something here. Close that door. I think there's some loot over here. Or not. I thought there was like a... Oh, shit. There's an ammo pile. It was like camouflaged in there. Oh, hey there. Boop. Come on down. I'm just a cheerleader. Oh, there goes his head. Cheerleader's dead. It's this janitor trying to get up the stairs here. Boop. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I missed that fall. I was concerned about this janitor. They're both down here now. Here we go. Dead. Dead. This is the main room right here. Whole bunch of zombies in this room. Most of them waking up. That soldier over there is still sleeping. Not anymore. They should all come running up this way. We can get back behind this door if we need to. Here they come. Alright, let's get behind this door so we can reload. I hear more down there. It's possible one or two got stuck on something. Ah, oh, here's a crawler. This is the room you would go in to tell Pastor Glock how naughty you've been. And then I would be 
in this other room here. And I would say something like, uh, it's okay, just put some money in the plate, go say some Hail Marys, and try not to be such an asshole moving forward. Brass, and I think this is the way to go through this door here. Yep, this is, uh, this would be my office, actually. Where we count all the money we made from saving people's souls. Souls are expensive these days, you know? Inflation. Um, I guess we'll pick this lock. We got enough lock picks. All right, fuck it, we'll beat into it. I know there's a hardened safe at the end of this that has like 10,000 hit points, so I'd rather save my lock picks for that thing. Uh, whereas here, look, we're just about into this safe now anyway. Boom. Done. Eight shotgun shells. Was it worth it? Sorta. All right, we are just about approaching the end of this place here. We gotta climb up this ladder and then it's gonna force us outside, which this is my favorite part of this POI. I love how they make you walk across this balance beam. Let's kill the birds first, otherwise they could cause a problem. Now I've never fallen off this balance beam before, but it's just as nerve wracking every time you do it anyway. Now, if you don't know about those birds, or if you forget to kill them first, they could cause a problem. Get you to fall down there. I'm not sure if you would die or not. You would definitely die if you didn't have any armor, and you were a low level, but at this point, I might just get severely hurt. Who knows? Not gonna find out. Look at this. Main stash. It's not even noon yet. Ah, oh, fuck your sandwiches. Oh, look at that. Level 6 AK. Gotta love that. Nice. Level 3 junkie. I'll take it. Unbelievable. First try without breaking any lockpicks. Look at that. Nice stash of loot there. M60. I'm gonna scrap this shit here. I'm all on to that M60, even though it's only a level 1. It's the only one we have. I don't know if I would use that over the level 6 AK. Probably not, but again, like I said, I'm still going to hold on to it for now. Alright, where's our motorcycle at? Oh, look at this. A jack-o'-lantern. I'll take that. Gotta decorate the prison for Halloween, you know? All right, well, we did that a lot quicker than I thought we would. Let's keep this loot train moving. We'll do this house next. Why not? Front doors are locked, so we got to be able to get in right here. Back door, wide open. It's like they knew we were coming. Where are you at, zombies? Here we go. Choppity chop. Let's see if we can find some food. We're getting a bit hungry here. There you go. Don't even care what it is. I can eat anything in this series. Got a closet back here. That looks like Kenny. Hey, Kenny, wanna play Choppity Chop? Oh, shit. Kenny's good at Choppity Chop. He's been playing his whole life. Well, someone in this house is a reader. It's definitely not Kenny. Here we go. A couple of books we don't know. Headshot. Headshots have a chance to stun. You think? Mods. Craft the Fireman's Axe mod, which uh, lets you do more damage to blocks, but less damage to enemies. Oh, a shotgun book. This is the last one we need, right? A dismember. You can dismember zombies easier. Bam! That's it. We know the entire shotgun series now. Where is it? 
here at the bottom. One shot, stuck in close quarters and need to make a quick getaway, blow a hole in the wall with this handy trick. Huh. We can shoot through most drywall and wooden walls now, and we can craft shotgun ammo in bulk. Well, if I had a shotgun, I would try shooting through these walls here, but we don't, so we'll have to try that handy trick another time. Let's go see if anyone upstairs wants to play Choppity Chop. And just... So everyone knows I am not sponsored by Choppity Chop. I just really enjoy playing it. No oh, shit. I'm gonna play shoot in the face with this guy instead. Oh, there you are. Oh shit, I choppity chopped the wrong thing. I choppity chopped the wall by accident. I still need some practice, apparently. I'm not ready for the Choppity Chop Olympics yet. Oh shit. Looks like we maxed out the, uh, robotics books. I don't even look to see which one that was, I just read it. Yeah. Maxed out. Robotic Ammo Bolt Crafting. Is that it? That's all we get? Whatever. Robotics Inventor is maxed out, so that's all that matters. Choppity chop, bitch. Going on the roof. And then back in over there. We're doing a lot of roof walking today. Come here, buddy. Dead. Anything over here? No. Let's keep it moving. The main stash should be right around the corner here. Oh, shit. Again, I choppity chopped the wrong thing. Man, I need some practice. Let's get this out of the way so we can set ourselves on fire. Look at this little sneaky bastard. Oh, I'll drink you, and I'll fuck you off right onto the ground. Look at us making great time. Hour 15, we got two POIs knocked out. Let's go knock out this house over here. Why not? We gotta gather as much shit as we can. Because like I said earlier, we're gonna go see Trader Rick tomorrow. Head down to the desert. We haven't been down there in a little bit. We'll sell Rick some shit. We'll check out his inventory. Now I'm good on the paper. Got plenty of that stuff. Clear. Any zombies in there? Huh. Also clear. Choppity chop! She sucks at choppity chop. Oh, slow down there. Oh, cheerleader in the corner. Damn it, hit the door. Just when I thought I was getting good at this game. All right, come on, let's get on with it here. Yeah, the bathroom. That goes into the garage. Where's this go? Oh, just the closet. Uh, nothing here. Oh, there's a white. Let's shoot him in the face. Oh, nice. No more? All right. Oh, there was another one. Shoot her feet. Yeah, dance, lady. Let's go. Keep those feet moving. <laughs> she dead. Oh, got a little gym in the attic. Who hauled all this equipment up into the fucking attic? It's like, just put the gym in the garage. If my wife was like, honey, I want the gym in the attic. I'd be like, oh, you mean the garage? She'd be like, no, I mean the attic. I'd be like, oh, you mean the garage? 
I'd squeeze her arm real tight. <laughs> I would not do any of that. Please, I'm just joking. All right, that is the way to go. Flashlight is pointing the way. Did we miss anything? Backpack. And I'm skipping over the cobblestone, obviously. We got enough of that stuff right now. All right, I guess we're good. Let's go. Sure, we got a zombie in here. Yep. Let's hit him with the gun. Whoop. Get the fuck out of here. Bam, main stash. Nice. We're gonna have plenty of stuff to sell to Rick tomorrow. Alright, we still have some daylight left. I'd like to, uh, oh shit. Hold on. Alright. That was fun. Oh, we got one more. Oh, I gotta reload. Good night. Okay, like I was saying, I, I want to, uh... Mine a bit of iron before we make our way back home. Here we go. There you go, little jack-o'-lantern buddy. Now you can watch the carnage next time we have a horde night here. I gotta get down there and fix and replace some of these hatches, make sure everything is uh, fully repaired and good to go. Then we need to extend this roof a bit more. Don't have to do it right now, because we don't necessarily have to hang out on this part of the base during the horde, you know? Uh, oh, there's a section of floor there that I never finished. Could get that done. So, still some busy work to do around the base. Uh, I got all this loot, though, that I still need to put away and get organized and figure out what we want to bring with us tomorrow to sell to Trader Rick. So, I'll get that done along with all this other busy work. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 32. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown and more Farmer Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.